Okay, welcome to the commentary for the Neo-Bedouins article. This is an exciting article. I really like this article. I saw it on the front page of the San Francisco newspaper, which is called the San Francisco Chronicle, uh, this week, a couple days ago. And when I saw it and read the article, I thought, wow, this is me. This is what I'm doing with Effortless English, right? I, uh, I don't have an office for Effortless English. In fact, I go to coffee shops here in San Francisco often, and I think about the website. I write down my ideas. Sometimes I bring my laptop, although usually I uh, do this in my apartment, actually recording, because I need a, a more private space to record lessons. But anyway, I write the lessons in the coffee shops uh, quite often. And in the coffee shops, I always see many, many people with laptop computers. And often I will hear people having little meetings about their internet company and discussing different issues, designing their websites. Um, it's very exciting, actually, to be here in San Francisco at this time, especially being involved with uh, an internet business, uh, with uh, internet teaching, uh, because really, in America, uh, this is the epicenter of computer technology, of IT, internet, um, internet technology. Um, it's all right here. It's happening here, most of all. Uh, Silicon Valley, you've probably heard of Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is the place uh, in California where there are many, many computer companies. Apple Computer, Hewlett Packard. Uh, a lot of Japanese computer companies have offices there. Uh, but Silicon Valley is near San Francisco. It's uh, a short drive from here. In fact, it's between San Francisco and San Jose. Uh, from San Francisco, you drive to Silicon Valley or take a train, maybe, I don't know, 30 minutes, something like that, 30, 40 minutes, not far. So San Francisco and Silicon Valley, really one area. And uh, this is where all the innovation is happening in the United States uh, with computer industry and especially the internet. So it's quite exciting to be here, involved in that. It's, it's, it's kind of a really great energy, a lot of new and interesting things happening, lots of creative, innovative people, uh, a lot of uh, flourishing, growing, succeeding internet companies. I mean, Google is based here, for example. Um, Yahoo as well. So anyway, it's, it's fantastic. It's a great place to be if you are involved in the computer industry or if you're involved in uh, uh, the internet in any way. Um, another thing about this article that uh, I liked a lot, that I said, wow, that's me, is the part about the nomadic tribes, being nomadic, traveling around. Uh, that's another reason I, I have chosen to teach with the internet. Now, I believe that teaching with the internet and also learning with the internet is just amazing. It's so flexible. You can be nomadic and still have a business. You can be nomadic and still have all your English learning materials, right? With your computer, the internet, and your little iPod. That's all you need. You can go anywhere. You can travel to a beach in Thailand, but still study English. Right? You've got your iPod, that's all you need. There's internet connections everywhere. So it's very simple, and it's so much more flexible than in the past. It's the same for me with Effortless English. I can do Effortless English from anywhere. So if I want to travel to Mexico, I can go to Mexico and continue to work on the website. I can travel to Thailand. I can live in Thailand and still do the website, still build Effortless English. I can move around, I can be nomadic. And I love that because I love traveling. Um, the reason I love teaching English is that it connects me to people all over the world. I, I, I just love going to different places in the world. I love meeting new people. I love uh, seeing and learning about new cultures. Uh, it's just fantastic. It's, it's really, so it's really exciting to me. I have a lot of emotion about this topic because this is why I'm doing it. This is why I'm doing Effortless English. Uh, I'm, it's just really exciting. It's an exciting time. Another key point in the article is about this idea of self-employment. 
right? It's not just nomadic employment. It's self-employment. It means you are your own boss. And uh, this idea that the job market is insecure, right? There's a lot of insecurity now in my father's generation. Um, he worked for IBM over 20 years, one company. You know, that was uh, normal for him. But here now in my generation and younger in the United States, that is not normal. Almost nobody works for the same company for 20 years. It doesn't happen. Uh, they get fired. They get laid off, right? Because older workers are expensive and the company wants to save money, so they cut their older workers. Uh, there's just no job security in America anymore. It's, it's, it's a reality. Um, now, for me, I don't mind. Uh, my dad probably doesn't like that. Maybe older people think that's a bad thing. But there's a good side to it. And the good side is in this article. And that is we can be more independent. Now we have the ability with computer technology, with the Internet, uh, with a lot of things, to be our own boss. We can start our own companies. And we can be freelancers, meaning we do some work and we sell it to other people, whoever will buy it. Writers and photographers do this a lot. But now we can do this with uh, many, many different things. And that's exciting. Um, why is it exciting to me? Well, to be honest, I don't like bosses. In fact, I hate working for other people. I hate having a boss tell me how to teach or what book I must use or what method I must follow. Um, yeah, it's not good for me <laughs> because uh, I don't listen to them. And that gets me in trouble. It got me in trouble in Thailand, in fact. Um, I have a strong idea about uh, how, how I should teach and what I'm good at and what is my best teaching style and how to make uh, English learning more fun, more interesting, and more effective. And unfortunately, or maybe, maybe fortunately, I don't know, but anyway, that, those ideas go against traditional English teaching, right? I don't like textbooks, for example. I refuse to use them. I won't use them. Uh, I certainly won't spend all my time in class teaching from a textbook. I don't like grammar analysis because it does not work. It just does not work for most people. It fails most students. So I don't like doing things I know are failures. I don't like doing things I know will not help the students. So I disobey. I don't follow my boss's advice. I don't listen to my bosses. And, you know, they don't like that sometimes. <laughs> so after I had a lot of trouble in Thailand because I was doing my own method, not using their methods, um, Somebody told me, actually somebody on Tom Peter's blog told me, AJ, you have to start your own business. Your personality and your ideas, they're too different. You will never be happy working for another person. You must be an entrepreneur. You must start your own business. And that's when I started really thinking about, you know, I need to, to do this myself. I want to teach the way I feel is best the way I'm the best at teaching, the best style for me, and what I think is best for students. That is always what I want to follow, not some rule from a company, not some principal or boss's rule. I want to do what I think is best. So the only way to do that, really, is to start your own business. And it doesn't matter, even if you're not a teacher, if you're a, a doctor, the way to, and you want to treat your patients, the best you can treat them. And you have your very strong ideas how to do that. Well, you have to have your own business, your own medical practice, your own medical business to do that. If you work in a hospital, you probably have bosses telling you what to do. If you're a business person, maybe you have strong ideas about what is right and what is wrong. If you have your own business, you can follow those. But if you work for someone else, well, they might want you to do things you think are not good or not, not ethical, right? not moral. Maybe they, you think, oh, I don't, don't want to lie to my customers. I have to tell them the truth. And if, there's, if I make a mistake or something is bad, I have to tell them the truth. But maybe your company says, no, 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 you have to lie to them. Right? Some, peop some people, in fact, a lot of people don't like that. Well, the only way to follow your own principles is to have your own business. And so anyway, that's the, the long answer to 
why I love self-employment, why I think it's great. Unfortunately, right now I am a part-time Bedouin. Um, in fact, a lot of these Bedouins you see in the coffee shops, a lot of them are part-time with a startup, with a new company. You know, you have no money, right? You have very little money. Um, so usually you have to work another job at the same time while you build your company. So I'm doing that right now. I'm building Effortless English slowly, but I don't have enough money to do it all the time. I can't do Effortless English full-time right now. Um, I did not borrow money to start this website. I do not want to borrow money. Uh, I don't want a bank uh, controlling or owning the website. <laughs> so I want it to be mine so I can do it my way. So right now I teach, uh, I'm teaching classes here in San Francisco to students in San Francisco. Uh, and I'm doing the website part-time. I'm a part-time Bedouin. In the future, I hope to do it full-time. Um, and that's what a lot of these internet companies are doing. And you see these people in the coffee shops. Many of them are part-time. Some of them are full-time. Maybe they're making enough to survive. And they're trying to build their, build their business. Uh, and they're trying to do it in a very cheap way without borrowing money from a bank, or at least borrowing a very small amount. And that's really exciting if you think about it, because anybody, any Effortless English member could start their own business. You can start your own business on the internet. Get a laptop computer for, I don't know, Apples are about $1,000. I think uh, Windows would be cheaper. So you get, a, you get a laptop computer. I mean, that's expensive, but compared to the past, it's very, very cheap. In the past, you had to borrow $10,000, $100,000. Well, now $1,000, you can use a credit card if necessary, or you can work and save your money. You can get a laptop computer. Um, you can get internet connections uh, for free in some coffee shops. I know in America you can. In Thailand... Yes, I could do that sometimes uh, in Bangkok. I found free uh, internet access. Or you can find it very cheap somewhere. Um, and, you know, and you get a cell phone for your phone. That's all. You have your business. You're ready to go. Uh, now you have to, you know, of course, find a website. You can usually you can start a Yahoo store or Google has a, um, internet business programs to help you create your website. Uh, and they're also quite cheap. So th this is an amazing opportunity uh, to start your own business uh, if you want to. So I encourage you, if you have thought about in the past, maybe I should start my own business. Well, do it. Do it. Try it. You can do it part-time. Keep your normal job. Start your website. It's okay if you don't know what's, what to do. When I started Effortless English, I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about business. I still don't, <laughs> really. Um, I just tried things. I, I started it. I tried something. Sometimes it worked. It was successful. Sometimes it failed. If it failed, I got rid of it. I threw it away. And then I tried something else. That's how I am developing Effortless English. I just try things and try things and try things. Some things are good, and I keep them. Some things are bad. I throw them away. That's all you do. That's it. That's the key to starting your own business. Just... Uh, Start it cheap, try things, keep the stuff that works, get rid of stuff that fails. Keep doing that again and again every year, every month, every week, every day, and you will build a business. So good luck. I hope that more people will do this because it's very exciting. And it feels so good to have your, something yourself. It's yours. You are building it. You are responsible. That's, that's, big, that's huge. It's really important, and it's a, it's a good feeling. I love Effortless English. I don't care if I make a lot of money or not, but I really love being responsible for it. I love that it's, it's mine, that I'm building it together with learners. No other boss, nobody telling us what to do. It's fantastic. It really is great. All right, so I encourage you, become a neo-nomad, become a neo-Bedouin yourself. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.